Kurt in Illinois writes, Paul, I was wondering what you feel is the proper amount of money to spend on a phono cartridge. In my case, the turntable is a project unit that retailed for $1,600 and came with an Ortofon 2M silver cartridge. The cart's okay, but seems to be on the cheap side to me. My vinyl playback chain equipment is worth around $7,000. Your thoughts on what I should be willing to pay on my next cartridge would be appreciated. Whew, boy. Well, as much as I love vinyl, I am kind of out of the loop on what people are paying today for cartridges. I mean, first off, let's be clear. The phono cartridge is far more important than the turntable. Now, I know that's going to cause a whole lot of rah, 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 but at the end of the day, it's true. And let me give you a quick example. In a situation where you have a cheap cartridge and an expensive turntable and you play a record and listen to the results versus the opposite, an expensive cartridge and a cheap turntable, I guarantee you the expensive cartridge and cheap turntable combination is going to sound better, a lot better. And that's because, of course, the cartridge is the key. Like, it's the opposite of a DAC. If, you, if you're starting with, a, with digital audio, the quality of the DAC makes all the difference in the world as to how that digital audio is going to sound because it is the final conversion process. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Sorry about that. I should put my phone on hold. That's the final conversion process that it goes through uh, from digital to analog. And in the cartridge, of course, you're converting the movement the wiggles in the uh, vinyl grooves into electrical energy. So movement, moving magnets back and forth or coils back and forth to create electrical energy. Those conversion processes are key. Now, does the turntable matter? A absolutely, absolutely it does. But the cartridge, far more important. I think we wound up paying probably three or $4,000 for our cartridge I, uh, I think we went with a Lyra, if I remember right. It's, it's just super important. I, I, I prefer moving coil to moving magnet. So what I would recommend is just read some reviews on great moving coil cartridge. Uh, go to the Absolute Sound or Stereophile, one of those magazines, and start perusing through what they find to be the best cartridges. You might find a bargain. You might find something that, you know, a couple of grand or whatever, gets you a fabulous cartridge. But do make sure that you understand the cartridge is far more important than the turntable itself. And if you have to make a choice, spend the money on the cartridge. All right. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later.